Welcome back, everyone, to the Dreams of Austria mod for Hearts of Iron Form. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover, and right now, we're looking pretty darn flat when it comes to our United States of Greater Austria. It is, of course, June 30th, 1940. I've played quite a bit off-screen, but I do want to let you know, this is pretty much where we left off yesterday, to a degree. I just been, I haven't done anything else. I've just been playing this off-screen, in which we've done quite a few focuses, such as Sen Military Attaches. It is not only our industry that surpasses that of our Balkan allies, but our military as well. So it follows that we should send military attaches to instruct and foster professionalism and skill in the armed forces, after all. It would serve us to do well to have capable allies who are able to defend themselves in the event of war, rather than us not having to only guard our own lands, but that of our allies too. And we helped out Bulgaria and Greece. Uh, but I do want to let you know that Greece, well, they were allied with us and we helped them out, but then they joined the allies. Yeah, yeah, that happened. So, and we are, like I said, on historical. But, uh, funding frenzy? <clears throat> no cost is too great in expanding greater Austria's economy. We will lavish Aust Austrian do domestic industries with funds of support for up to a full year so that we can further headway or further headway into our economic plans. I've done renovate the Schönbrunn Palace. Schönbrunn Palace has been neglected since the expulsion of the Habsburgs with, with the end of the Great War. The Austrian Republican government seizing the grounds now. Now, Kaiser Otto has returned to lead Austria. We must restore Schönbrunn to be, once again, a palace worthy of the Habsburgs. This, in turn, requires investments into the Austrian civilian economy so that it can provide the materials needed. Modernized railways. The Imperial Royal Rail Ministry was dissolved in 18, 1918. Its vehicles and infrastructure being divided among many of the state railway companies of the dual monarchy's successor states. Austria's own fallen... Oh, Austria's own. Now, had fallen into disrepair, especially given the rough terrain of the heartland. Restoring the Austrian rail lines to their former glory will greatly expedite our overall recovery and expand Steyr Daimler Push. Uh, the company originally started life as a merger between a ar former arms manufacturer and a state automobile company, but by the end of the Great War had started to become a major automobile conglomerate. In an era in which armies are becoming increasingly mechanized, retaining and expanding Austria's experienced automobile engineers and manufacturers can only be good for the nation. Federal work programs. Tyrol's mining industry goes back thousands of years, providing the Habsburgs great quantities of salt, iron ore, and other valuable minerals. Tyrol is naturally a great location for us to expand our mining operations to maximize the economic output of the Austrian heartland. Focusing on iron and coal will allow Austria's steel production capabilities to skyrocket. Open new Tyrolean coal mines. Tyrol's... Oh. Oh, I, I just read that one. I just read that one. Oh. Wait. No? Yeah? Okay. Um, federal work programs? Actually, this one might be different then. Or at least it should be different. That might be a little bit of a bug. These are exactly the same description, so I'm going to look at that. Viennese aluminum plants. Aluminum is a critical resource in the industrial and military sectors, and we cannot go without it. Vienna has a river Wien flowing through its heart, offering a constant source of energy to power additional facilities. Why not expand Vienna's aluminum plants with these advantages in mind? Cool. And now we can go and do begin phase two, which might not be too bad, especially since we're, uh, well, we're kind of pushed back already. We could use more output, some civvies, and stuff like that. Uh, I could do, we could go down this way as well. Anything on the right? Oh, what is that? Oh, the Imperial Air Force. Yeah, we could do that, I suppose, as well. Uh, does this seem, that's not bad. It's only for a year. Minus 20% fighter cost. We're doing okay on fighter stuff. I kind of want to do the Austrian economy, though. Even though the Imperial Navy is kind of important as well. Actually, a lot of these things are important, so. Preserving your way of life, democracy, stability. We could use some more stability right now. I, I don't mind this one, too. Um, yeah, I'll do this one first. With the ne negative effects of the Great Depression curtailed in our nation, we can move on to researching new and enhanced technologies that will give our economy the edge it needs to start growing up again, or growing again. But, um, as you can see, Italy went to war with us, and they're, they're struggling. Here are the casualties. Hopefully we can see this. Third of a million, which is not great, but we've caused pretty much double their casualties that they inflicted on us, and we've killed off, well, a couple Austrians here, or I Italians, not Austrians. Austrians are way too important in real life, uh, and in the game, but, uh, yeah, Italy, oh, the UK, the British people don't like Italians apparently. But as you can see, not not a big problem. We just made an encirclement here in Venice, so hopefully we can do well and hopefully we don't get squashed there. But we have another division coming in. These guys are twenty combat width. They are only twenty combat width, so we're lacking guns right now. But and support equipment. But what else is new? You know, hey, Venice is ours, as it should be. Now I would like to come over through here and then through here. Actually, it's probably the best time to go ahead and go through here right now and try to encircle them and beat the crap out of them. Just so we can just finish this war as fast as possible. So, my goal is to finish off Italy and then finish off Germany. Because they're still attacking us to a degree, so... And they're still struggling in the Benelux. So, let's go and do the Austrian economy. Which would be very, very nice. Uh, yeah, guys, don't worry about that. I recommend you just go right here. There you go. I know attacking into mountains is a poor, terrible, poor idea, but... It must be done. 
Engineers are nice. There you go. Up, out. And it is 1940, of course. Research speed. We're pretty good on research speed. We could grab atomic research. I think we should probably instead keep doing some of this stuff. Armor is doing okay. I did want to get some medium tanks. That would be very nice as well. You guys are still struggling over there. Uh, don't worry about that. Help out. Just hurry up and help out over here so we can break over here too. Improved infantry equipment is very good as well. 1940. Mm, resources? Yeah, we could probably use some more resources. Yeah, rubber's not good. Steel. We could actually use more steel, which is kind of weird. Which is very weird to see, but that's okay. You guys hold on. Let's, let's get this top first. That'll be good. Portable radios. Invisible ink. Because we can. Alright, now we can attack here once again, probably. Because I want to encircle as many soldiers over here as possible. One, two. Three, four, five, six. That's not bad. Especially for this front. The Italians can't really cover their rear ends then. And we might be able to just push that way. Hey! An encirclement. Nice. Let them attack us repeatedly so we can, like, kill off other divisions. And they're actually pushing... No, oh, the French are pushing back in. That's good. How are we doing over here? Not too bad. The Germans can't really push us back anymore. But that's good as well. <clears throat> I don't mind sacrificing and losing all of Italy except for the, you know, the parts that we really deserve. We're taking... I think I want to take all of Germany just to see what happens. So we'll see what happens. And improved decimetric radar is very good. Grab some more radar as well. But we've got to start focusing on some nuclear stuff. We're going to focus on some other stuff, such as ships. So... It's going to take some time for us to do all that, of course. Cut, go into here and cut these guys off. The faster they, these guys die, the better for everybody. So, Completely cut off into the mountains. I'm not going to push it. Oh, hello. What is going on here? No, sir. No. We say no. No. Assassination of Trotsky. Goodbye, Trotskinator. Goodbye. The faster we take that, the less supplies these guys get, so... Hey, we actually got in there. That's good. Alright, Robert Mart Martinek. Not bad, not bad. Hey, we have some chippies. We can make meat, meat, milk. Milk? Make. Oh, we can't make that. We have no enable XP. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. That's... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Military High Command. Armor would be nice. I want to save that for armor. Eh, that stuff is Okay. Let's see. I do want to get down to limited exports. We could probably honestly use that right now anyways. Let's go do that one anyways. That'd be good. Slightly more fuel, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And the Austrian economy. Uh, synthetic oil experiments. Improved machine tools. Ah, I like synthetic oil experiments. Oil and fuel are fundamental for any modern army. However, our reliance on foreign oil is rather, is rather troublesome. With the world being so unstable today, we should seek to minimize our, our foreign inf reliance on such a critical resource. New te technological developments allow the production of synthetic fuel and oil and are likely our best chance at autarky. Very good. <clears throat> Just going to defeat these last few divisions. That'll be very nice. Very, very nice. And we're probably out of guns, right? Oh, oh we can't see that. Okay. Well, actually, we have plenty of guns now. Nice job, guys. Keep doing that, because I like it. And you guys are aware. Oh, you're in Germany still. That's fine. Alright, so they don't look that strong, but we don't want to be too extreme here. Well, we want to be extreme, just not, like, nuts. It's, it's okay to be extreme. Extremes are fun. Ah. I really do wonder if I could just do a general attack. That'd be so much fun. Can you just go in? Can we beat the Italians? Or the French down here? Beat these guys up so we can take more land from them. Uh, you might want to go there, too. You actually might want to help out there, too. Now the if we can touch the French. Okay, these guys really kind of suck. I should have made these 40 combo with, I'll be honest. Come on, France. What are you doing? God, the French suck. Alright, we lost quite a few guys. That's alright. Let our guys recover. That's important. Hey, sure, we'll take it off. Okay, now we have deficit, deficit of guns. Never mind. I lied again. Hmm, how are the Germans doing? They still like attacking. We still have a little pokey into there, too. And these guys are still holding on. They're they're just not giving up without a fight. Oh, let's take a look at Germany's manpower. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, that's good. You guys, you, know, they, you have less, which is nice. We have not that many as, got, as well, as, but that's okay. Oh, they abandoned the line. All right. Oh, crap. Otto Skozeni. Of all people to get captured, please. Oh, we can't even do anything there. Oh, my goodness. This is not good. Well, as soon as we hired you, Heinz, you have to go rescue our guy. Well, that sucks. Hmm. 
Nice. Uh, we all need one of these, so synthetic experiments too. Are these exactly the same? They are. That's that's actually really nice. And the third one is exactly the same as well. Cool. Go on there so we can destroy another division. That'd be good. Yeah, the French are really sucky right now. Come on. Oh, they have four divisions there? Are you kidding me, man? Four? Oh, they are attacking us. That's really nice. There's a lot of battles raging on, but that's fine. Whatever. It's meant to be. No, sir. You're not allowed to leave. Come on. Ah, we got him. That's what we wanted, son. That's what we wanted. Our nice fat cigar. Very good. Now take half of you guys and move into there. We've certainly killed off quite a few Italians now. 167,000? Obviously not enough. Yeah, these guys definitely can't break our lines, which is nice. I do want to make our guys 40 combo with, but we'll see what happens. Cool. Yeah, more, another division. Nice. Just throw them on the line. Actually, what are you guys doing? You guys, are, I did want to use you guys to push through. I don't want to fight through here because there's still a lot of mountains around here, and that's not very good to fight through. Um, are you guys, are you guys still attacking them? What's going on? Why are you so weak? Oh no, they're attacking us. Okay then. This one circle these guys up here, which would be very good. Are they doing last stand? They have to be doing last stand. There's no way they're being able to hold up that much. But with that two, synthetic three, very bueno. How how are these guys holding here? I I'm not understanding. Do they have air superior No, eh, they might have some air superiority. That was stupid. What the heck? We had a chance. Come on, Italy. If you're gonna attack me, then attack me for realsies. Better raiders, nice. Let's get some nuclear tech. Well, this this run's definitely stalled out for now. Hmm. Gives more manpower. Funding frenzy is very good. What are we building? More roads? Oh, we need more than just the roads. Let's get some fuel. Fuel's nice. And don't get it wrong, roads are nice, but still. All these roads eventually. Alright, and get some more millies too. We like millies. I'd love to build up in the Czech part of our nation, but it's kind of occupied right now. But a couple other comments saying we should do the Kaiser Redux uh, uh, Eurasian Union sometime. We'll see. Uh, there's no guarantees for anything, but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I would like to play them sometime. Ooh, deck size. Ooh, heavy tech goes down. Ooh, ooh, I don't like either one of these really. <sighs> air reformer, air experience gain. Eh, I do that one. That's probably probably better to do overall. Keep building, though. Keep building, building, building. Then we're going to get some more uh, political power next. That'd be good. Cool. Sucks like that the fronts have kind of stalled. I wish the allies could do something because the allies usually are pretty gosh darn strong, you know, with France that doesn't fall, at least in my opinion. I could be completely wrong about that. With the allies, them not dying yet? Man. We have no allies. That's alright, though. We do have forward fire observers next. Forward observers. Good. And improve research and development. We're starting to become handicapped by our bureaucratic limits in the field of technology. We need to hire more scientists, possibly even incentivizing foreign agents to come work for our government. We can also cut down some of the bureaucratic red tape limiting our scientists in their pursuits. These two changes together should allow us to diversify our research even further. One of the comment was, we should take Silesia and puppet Germany, and take the Italian cores and puppet Poland, and fight Spain, the USSR, and Mexico so we can get those Ak duchies back. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a pretty darn good idea. We'll probably, we'll probably do that in the end anyway, so I don't want to attack since these guys just aren't ready yet. We have okay amount of guns. Ooh, 40 combo widths. Yeah, we really start, gotta start using these guys. I think we're gonna go get some logistics companies next. So, to make sure that we can actually win this battle, or win this war, take six of you guys and go ahead and become 40s. There you go. And to make them different, there you go. Uh, what is the stockpile like? We are out of artillery. Hopefully we can get some artillery from uh, some of uh, the allies. Yeah, we'll probably have to kill off the allies, too. That's gonna suck. That's really gonna suck, actually. That's not bad. Get some more, uh, millies. There you go. And, not bad. Cool. So, after this one, 
We'll probably go ahead and do we could do all that stuff. I'm probably just gonna do a lot of this off screen. So expand support unit ones. The frontline soldiers essential but proper support elements can be exactly what is needed to turn the tide of any battle in our favor. Engineers and sappers can put up bridges to facilitate river crossings. Military police ensure prisoners of war are properly secured, and supply units facilitate the necessary logistics for troops to keep them to keep up with the fight. Killing zones. When properly sighted, supplied and prepared, an artillery barrage can win battles faster than a million men, bringing quick devastation before the enemy can even react. We will train our infantry to lure the enemy into the pre-sighted and define areas where our pre-prepared artillery can tear them to shreds. <clears throat> Specialized artillery equipment. An artillery battle requires many more things than guns and shells. It requires range finders, radios, quadrants, targeting devices, and maps. We must invest in newer and better versions to maintain parity and never-ending arms race. Support expanding or expanded support units too. Uh, I think I already read this one, so that's cool. Time on target. Our artillery batteries will be trained and utilized to hold fire until all guns can be brought to bear. Then all guns will fire simultaneously, dropping shells across a large area all at once, catching the maximum amount of enemy troops out of foxholes and covers possible. Innovations in munitions and cannons? Nice. Although towed artillery, the standard bread and butter of support artillery, there are new designs coming out of the artillery guns mounted on tracks like tanks, allowing artillery batteries to fire and move quickly before enemy fires return. Additionally, new types of munitions with intricate fuses have begun being used. We should look into innovate or innovate upon our own equipment soon too. And this one's basically number three, which is nice. Overwhelming firepower. <clears throat> our use of artillery has become second to none in the world. When our guns fire, the enemy instinctively flinches, expecting the coming shells to land directly in their foxhole. Often, they do just that. It has gotten to the point that artillery alone can keep entire divisions pinned while our own troops are able to maneuver into perfect positions from there, destroying the enemies a simple matter and meritocratic uh, promotions. And the empires of old, your skill or talent didn't always matter as much as who you were, who your parents were, or who you know. This does not make for a strong army. People of all backgrounds should be equally considered for promotions, effectively immediately. We shall also carry out reviews within the administration of our army, ensuring that people have the skills to actually warrant their ranks. While it might not be the most popular with some who don't deserve the position, overall we are confident our army will greatly benefit by having the best people in charge regardless of the background and small unit leadership. The effects of our new approach to leadership within the army has shown immediate positive results. However, we can take it one step further by emulating the methods of the Americans, British, and Germans by giving more freedom to our NCO Corps. They will be charged with making their own decisions when the course of battle inevitably muddles the original plans drawn up by the officers. If a platoon commander falls in battle, the senior NCO will take up the mantle of leadership for his unit. This will keep cohesion within the smallest of our military units, and the adaptability of our troops will further be increased and decentralized command. Our current command structure is over-centralized, with too much decision-making be being done by high-ranking officers who are nowhere near the front lines. The situation of battle is chaotic, as we witness the Great War. A battle that stretches for miles can vary greatly from one location to another, and the less centralized the command structure, the more reactive and dynamic our army's response to the change can be. By devolving more power to our lieutenants and captains, we ensure that our army is highly adaptable to the changing circumstances of battle and as well as phase two. Now that phase one of our industrial project has yielded great and tangible results in Austria proper, we must now expand our efforts to the rest of Greater Austria, Bohemia, Hungary, and Slovakia. It will be the focus of phase two to reinforce our traditional economic strength for the benefit of Greater Austria, and I will see you when we have Germany on the run. Alright everyone, so Germany's not dead yet, and, and I think I'm kind of done with this already. Uh, it's June 1943. And here are the casualties. So we've lost a fair amount. Not too bad. Really, not too bad at all. Uh, Germany's lost like 2.3 million to us. We've killed off quite a few Italians. Also, Romania went to join the Axis, but they were really not too bad when, since, since we had Bulgaria with us. So overall, that really wasn't too bad. It wasn't really worth showing. Um, this has been a mess. Germany... Okay, so here's the deal. We were fighting Germany, of course. Italy, we were fighting them too. Uh, but then, I think that the... Because the Germans did not invade the Comintern. Stalin was thinking, well, let's go to war with Japan, which we're doing relatively okay. Not great, but relatively okay. So we went to war with Japan, and because that's a, that was an aggressive move by Stalin towards Japan, the tripartite uh, pact kicked in, in which the Soviet Union was then fighting a two-front war with the Axis. Totally fine with me. Uh, but then the Soviet Union went to war with the Turkey, Tur the Turkish people, the Turkey, which then they joined the Allies, and then now it's basically a three-way war between the Axis, the Allies, and the co-prosperity sphere. And then we just kind of exist, and I've not been able to break through Italy, and actually Italy Italy capitulated France because they ran out of manpower, and Germany is literally on a three-front front war, and they're not dying. They literally will not die. I'm not sure what's going on here, and this is historical, but yeah, this, is, this isn't a super bueno, so I think what we're going to do... Also, I've done a lot of these focuses off-screen as well, like all these ones. I've done this one. If you want to read these, you can go right ahead, but... Um, yeah, it's just been definitely slog. It's not the mod's fault. It's just, I'm not really sure what's up with the U United States, you know, military, the AI. Like, they're not doing so well. You know, you think, 
<clears throat> what's it called in America? They could do pretty well for you. Or, you know, at least help believe the Allies, but... Apparently not. Apparently not, so... But here's my plan. Uh, I'm gonna redo this. I'm gonna go ahead and... I'll probably actually end up live-streaming this. So, I wanna do this again. But I wanna do it on a historical, just because historical has too many problems. Or not problems, but just... It's a little more difficult on... Actually, a lot more difficult on historicals. Because even if we won, we'd have to fight all the Allies together. And we had to fight off the Soviet Union too, which is just very grindy. So I'd rather probably try as an A historical, especially since the line, it's just, it hasn't been moving. And if, uh, we, even if we tried this, like, even if we tried a full general attack, eh, we could do okay starting off, but then it turns into a lot of red, so I think that's where we're going to leave this episode. I've, I've, I'll be honest, I've been playing this for at least an hour, and or really an hour and a half off screen, or two hours. I can't even tell at this point. It's, it's just been a, a giant slog. So, regardless, if you enjoyed the video, Hope you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. And which hopefully, we'll try this again on A Historical. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.